Okay, so I'm going to do some groups here just to show you how to use the group command. So how I use it anyway is I'll create a group called columns. Okay, and then I'll call another group. This is just a quick way to recall things if you're making lists or things like that. Beams. Uh, so what I do is I'll I'll run a selection box through these columns. So let's just pick the columns. Then I'll go in here and I'll do selection. And then I'll click on this. Objects marked at shop. And then I'll select all those. And the, here's the columns with the parts connected to them. And then add these. And then I can turn off that selection set. Maybe you want to rename this because it's assemblies we'll, we'll rename it column assemblies so that's column assemblies so you can do select elements and there's your column assemblies now you can also do the beams so what we do is we can just select and as you can see you have to select them so I'll just do the beams so I can add these to the beams add elements and then I can create another group just called columns now this is fine when you're doing smaller models I could just add those columns so that just includes the columns select elements and see it's the columns select elements and it's just the beams and that's just a simple way of keeping things together if you want to reselect them to do anything. Now, also, if I go click on a beam and do select similar, it'll select everything that's on the beam layer. And same with the columns, we'll select similar. So that's the way it's, that's why we like to use a lot of layers. But anyway, uh, that's how you use your group command. All right.